California is one of the states that Donald Trump singled out for voter fraud right after the election he put out on Twitter. So, Secretary, two months have passed since the election. Have there been any credible allegations of voter fraud in your state in this election? Uh, good morning, Kate, and uh, thank you for bringing up that question because it was around Thanksgiving weekend where uh, President Trump first started not just alleging millions of cases of voter fraud across the country, but naming specific states, uh, California among them. Uh, we, we pushed back at the time saying, hey, we take allegations of voter fraud seriously. If you do have any information or proof of it, please bring it forward. We're happy to investigate. Months have passed, uh, zero proof, zero evidence. And so, uh, you know, here's my concern as he's repeating these allegations. First, uh, my concern as an elections administrator is he's simply setting the tone for any policy changes that will go further backwards as it pertains to voting rights. Uh, that, you know, we, we already have needless barriers to voter registration, needless barriers uh, to uh, the ballot box for eligible voters, not just in California, but uh, around the country. We see what's happening in, you know, Texas, North Carolina, Ohio, et cetera. In California, we're trying to show a different way. Uh, but calling for a massive investigation when there's no basis for it uh, is dangerous. It's uh, not productive. It's a distraction, uh, as you've said. Uh, so, and, and my fear is that it sets up the, you know, changes in law as it pertains to access to the ballot for Americans. So, Mr. Secretary, you call the investigation dangerous. Will you cooperate with the federal investigation? Look, we, we cooperate with uh, uh, federal government uh, as we're required to, and, and, and we're happy to do so. But I think it's also our obligation to push back and say, hey, this makes sense. This does not make sense. Uh, just as uh, alleging voter fraud on a rampant scale without proof or without any evidence uh, is harmful to democracy, uh, so is an investigation that's not based on anything and to uh, other fine, than somebody's ego. And to put a fine point on it, Mr. Secretary, when you say there's zero proof, there is zero proof that there ha have there been any allegations of voter fraud in California that your uh, that your agency is looking at right now. Uh, you know, to my knowledge, there's there's no cases of irregularities uh, or, or cause for uh, uh, investigation to voter fraud from the November 8th election, at least at the state level. Can't speak for county DAs across the state of California, and I can't say something won't come forward in the future. But when you make allegations of three, four, five million cases of voter fraud throughout the country, that, that's impossible. That's impossible. So again, Does vote, and, and again, you, you've called it dangerous, and I think you're questioning the motives, uh, I think, of President Trump on launching what he calls this major investigation. Do you anticipate that this will be a fair investigation? Uh, well, if the first couple of days of the Trump administration, uh, how they play fast and loose with the truth uh, and facts, uh, I have cause for concern. Look, not just myself in California, but my colleagues throughout the country, we pride ourselves on free and fair elections, an elections process that is uh, absolutely transparent and true to our small d democracy. And when you start questioning it, when you start creating doubts, uh, that's taking a jackhammer to the bedrock of our democracy. What does, uh, that's a strong statement, saying a jackhammer to the bedrock of our democracy. He's, he's called for a major um, investigation, a serious investigation. <laughs> what, on, on the state level, because this is, obviously this is going to come down, even if it's a federal investigation, it's going to be coming into <clears throat> your state. What right. would a major investigation into voter fraud look like on the ground for you guys? You know, in my opinion, a major investigation should start with uh, the White House, including the president himself, reading the reports that's already out there. Uh, there is stuff from Loyola University, from the Pew Center for the States, from the Brennan Center for uh, Justice at NYU. Uh, there, there's been report after report, study after study, investigation after investigation for years on these allegations of voter fraud. And what does each and every one turn up? Does it exist? Yes, but it is virtually non-existent. Small numbers compared to the millions and billions of ballots cast uh, over the last several decades. One study said 31 cases in a billion. And that's, uh, I think uh, that was uh, over 10 uh, years. Uh, uh, 10, yeah, 10 years 10 over years. voter fraud. So that, that's not much. <laughs> yeah. All right, Mr. Yeah. Secretary Alex Padilla, thanks so much for being with us. Let appreciate us know when you hear from the Justice Department. We appreciate <laughs> it. Will do. We'll still wait. Thank you.